Shadows danced across the walls of the dimly lit alley as Samantha Ray knelt beside the body, her heart hammering against her ribcage. The metallic scent of blood mingled with the fetid stench of decay, making her stomach churn. She had seen her fair share of gruesome crime scenes in her years as a detective, but this one was different. This one was personal. The victim's lifeless eyes stared up at the inky sky, wide with terror, even in death. Samantha brushed a strand of auburn hair from the woman's face, her fingers trembling. She knew this face, had seen it countless times in the faded photographs her mother kept hidden away. Aunt Lily, the black sheep of the family, ostracized for her wild ways and forbidden love affairs. Samantha had always been drawn to her, to the mystery surrounding her abrupt disappearance when Samantha was just a child. And now here she was, another body in a string of murders that had rocked the city, murders that were all somehow connected to Samantha's estranged father. A sudden movement in the shadows made Samantha whirl, hand flying to the gun at her hip. A tall figure emerged from the darkness, hands raised in surrender. Her pulse quickened as she recognized the chiseled features and piercing blue eyes of Detective Jack Novak, the lead on the case. Easy there, Ray, he said, a wry smile tugging at his lips. We're on the same side, remember? Samantha lowered her weapon, heat rushing to her cheeks. Ever since she'd been assigned to this case, she'd felt a powerful attraction to Jack, one that both excited and terrified her. She couldn't afford to be distracted, not when the stakes were so high. What have we got? She asked, clearing her throat. Jack crouched down beside her, his shoulder brushing hers as he examined the body. Same though as the others. Throat slit, some kind of symbol carved into the chest. He met her gaze, his eyes softening with sympathy. I'm sorry about your aunt. Samantha looked away, blinking back the sudden sting of tears. She was already dead to me. To all of us. My father made sure of that. The mention of her father sent a chill down her spine. Winston Ray, a man as powerful as he was ruthless. A man with a closet full of skeletons and a heart as cold as the marble floors of his sprawling mansion. A man who was now the prime suspect in a series of brutal murders. Samantha rose to her feet, a sudden determination burning in her chest. She would find the truth, no matter the cost even if it meant facing the demons of her past and the secrets that haunted her family, even if it meant risking her heart to the one man who made it race and ache in equal measure. Jack stood as well, his hand grazing her elbow, sending sparks shooting through her veins. We'll get to the bottom of this, Sam. I promise. She met his gaze, saw the depth of emotion swirling in those blue depths, and for a moment, she let herself believe him. Let herself imagine a future where the shadows of her past no longer held sway. But as the wail of sirens filled the night air and the flashing lights of the crime scene painted the alley red and blue, Samantha knew that future was still a long way off. She had a killer to catch and a family legacy to unravel. No matter how much it hurt. The halls of the precinct buzzed with tension as Samantha poured over the case files, her eyes straining against the harsh fluorescent light. Crime scene photos and witness statements blurred together, a macabre mosaic of death and deceit. At the center of it all was her father. Samantha's fingers tightened on the glossy photo of Winston Ray, his silver hair and piercing gray eyes a perfect mask of respectability. But she knew the darkness that lurked beneath, had felt the sting of his cruelty and the weight of his expectations. Burning the midnight oil? She looked up to see Jack leaning against the doorframe, two steaming cups of coffee in hand. The sight of him sent a flutter through her chest, a momentary respite from the gloom. Sleep is for the weak, she quipped, accepting the offered mug with a grateful smile. Jack settled into the chair beside her, his knee brushing hers under the table. Anything new? Samantha shook her head, frustration coiling in her gut. Just more questions. More dead ends. She met his gaze, her voice dropping to a haunted whisper. I can't shake the feeling that my father is involved somehow. That he knows more than he's letting on. Jack's hand found hers, his calloused palm warm and reassuring. Then we'll keep digging. We'll find the truth, Sam. Together.
Samantha's heart swelled at the promise in his words, at the unshakable faith he had in her. In them. She laced her fingers through his, drawing strength from his touch. But the moment was shattered by a sudden commotion in the bullpen. Samantha bolted to her feet, Jack close behind as they raced to the source of the noise. In the center of the chaos stood a haggard figure, clothes torn and caked with grime. Samantha's breath caught in her throat as recognition dawned. Uncle Peter? Her father's younger brother, a man she hadn't seen in over a decade. A man who had vanished without a trace after a vicious fight with Winston that had left the family in tatters. Peter's wild eyes found hers, desperation etched into every line of his gaunt face. Sammy? I didn't know where else to go. I'm... I'm in trouble. We all are. Samantha guided him to a chair, her heart hammering. What do you mean? What kind of trouble? Peter's hands shook as he reached into his pocket, pulling out a tattered scrap of paper. On it was a symbol, the same one carved into the chests of the murder victims. It's a curse, Peter whispered, his voice trembling. An ancient evil that's been hunting our family for generations. And now it's come for Winston. Samantha's blood ran cold, the pieces clicking into place with sickening clarity. The murders, her father's secrecy, the whispers of a darkness that had long plagued the Ray family. Tell me everything, she demanded, her voice steely even as her heart shattered. As Peter spun a tale of forbidden rituals and blood-soaked vengeance, of a curse born of love and betrayal, Samantha felt the weight of her legacy pressing down on her, threatening to crush her beneath its terrible power. But beneath the fear, beneath the grief, a fierce determination took root. She would break this curse, would save her father and what was left of her fractured family, even if it meant sacrificing her own chance at happiness. Even if it meant turning her back on the love blossoming between her and Jack, a love she knew could consume her if she let it. For in the end, family was all that mattered. And Samantha would do whatever it took to protect hers. No matter the cost, the sprawling Ray mansion loomed before Samantha, its gothic spires and stained glass windows a testament to the family's dark history. She stood on the front steps, Jack a steady presence at her side as she reached for the ornate knocker with a trembling hand. The door swung open, revealing the stern face of her father's butler, his eyes widening in surprise. Miss Samantha? We weren't expecting you. I need to see my father, she said, her voice brooking no argument. It's urgent. The butler hesitated, but stepped aside, allowing them entry into the cavernous foyer. Samantha's footsteps echoed on the marble floor as she strode towards her father's study, a room she had always been forbidden to enter. She burst through the heavy oak doors, Jack close behind, only to stop short at the sight before her. Her father sat behind his massive desk, his face ashen and his eyes haunted. And standing beside him, a cruel smile playing at her lips, was a woman Samantha had only seen in faded photographs. Mother? And the word fell from her lips like a prayer and a curse. Evelyn Ray, the mother who had abandoned Samantha when she was just a child, the mother whose absence had left a gaping wound in her heart that had never truly healed. Hello, darling, Evelyn purred, her voice like honey laced with poison. It's been far too long. Samantha's heart raced, confusion and anger warring in her chest. What are you doing here? What's going on? Winston stood, his movements stiff, and his eyes filled with a profound sadness. I'm sorry, Samantha. I never wanted you to be a part of this. I tried to protect you, to keep you away from the curse that has plagued our family for so long. Evelyn laughed, the sound harsh and grating. Protect her? By lying to her? By hiding the truth of her own blood? She turned to Samantha, her gaze sharp and assessing. You have no idea of the power that runs through your veins, daughter. The power that I sacrifice everything to obtain. Samantha's mind reeled, the pieces of the puzzle falling into place with sickening clarity. The murders, the ancient curse, her mother's disappearance. You're behind all of this, she whispered, horror dawning. You killed those people, your own sister. 
Evelyn's smile widened, a mad gleam in her eyes. I did what was necessary to break the curse, to claim the power that was rightfully mine. And now, with you here, the final piece falls into place. She reached into the folds of her gown, pulling out an ancient dagger, its blade gleaming in the dim light. Your blood, my dear Samantha. That's all I need to complete the ritual and ascend to my true form. Samantha's heart stopped, terror and betrayal ripping through her like a physical pain. She turned to her father, desperation clawing at her throat. Dad, please, don't let her do this. Winston's eyes glistened with tears, his voice broken and hollow. I'm sorry, Samantha. I'm so sorry. I tried to stop her. Tried to find another way. But the curse, it's too strong. It's consumed her, just as it consumed my father before her. Evelyn advanced, the dagger poised to strike, and Samantha felt a chilling calm settle over her. She knew what she had to do knew the sacrifice she would have to make to save the ones she loved. She looked to Jack, saw the anguish and understanding in his eyes. In that moment, a lifetime passed between them, a love that could never be and a future that would never come to pass. I'm sorry, Jack, she whispered, her heart shattering. I have to end this, for all of us. And with a final wrenching look at the man she loved, Samantha turned to face her mother ready to embrace her destiny and the dark power that awaited her. For the curse had to be broken, no matter the cost. Time seemed to slow as Samantha faced her mother, the ancient dagger glinting in Evelyn's hand. The air crackled with dark energy, the weight of generations of secrets and lies pressing down upon them. It doesn't have to be this way, Samantha said, her voice steady despite the fear coursing through her veins. We can find another way. Break the curse without bloodshed. Evelyn's laughter was harsh and brittle. You naive child. The only way to break the curse is through sacrifice. Through the spilling of ray blood. She raised the dagger, her eyes gleaming with madness. And you, my dear daughter, are the key to it all. Samantha's gaze darted to her father, to the man who had once been her hero, now broken and defeated. She saw the anguish in his eyes the silent plea for forgiveness. And in that moment, she understood. The curse wasn't just about power or vengeance. It was about love, twisted and tainted by the passage of time. It was about the desperate lengths people would go to hold on to what they held dear. Her mother had lost herself to the darkness, had sacrificed everything for a chance at the power she craved. But Samantha would not make the same mistake. She closed her eyes, reaching deep within herself, to the place where her own power lay dormant, waiting to be awakened. She thought of Jack, of the love that had blossomed between them in the midst of all the chaos and pain. She thought of her father, of the family legacy that had been both a blessing and a curse. And she made her choice. Samantha's eyes snapped open, blazing with an inner light that seemed to emanate from her very soul. She raised her hand, palm outward, and spoke the words that had been whispered to her in dreams, the words that held the key to breaking the curse. By blood and by love, I release us. A pulse of pure energy burst from her, slamming into Evelyn and sending her flying across the room. The dagger clattered to the floor, and Samantha moved to stand over her mother's crumpled form. It's over, mother, she said, her voice ringing with a newfound strength. The curse ends here, with me, with my choice to embrace the light instead of the darkness. Evelyn's eyes widened, realization and fear dawning in their depths. No, you can't. The power, the power was never meant to be yours, Samantha said softly. It was meant to be a gift, a blessing to protect and heal. But you twisted it, used it for your own selfish ends. And now, it's time to let it go. She reached down, clasping her mother's hand in her own. A warm glow enveloped them, and Samantha felt the curse begin to unravel, the ancient magic dissipating like mist in the sun. Tears streamed down Evelyn's face, the madness fading from her eyes as the curse released its hold. Samantha, forgive me. Nay, it went, y'all. Samantha's own tears fell, 
mingling with her mother's. I forgive you, Mom. I forgive you. And with those words, the last remnants of the curse shattered, the dark energy that had plagued the Ray family for generations finally laid to rest. Samantha sagged, exhausted and drained, but a profound sense of peace settled over her. It was over. The curse was broken, and her family was free. Strong arms encircled her, and she leaned into Jack's embrace, his warmth and strength anchoring her. You did it, Sam, he whispered, his voice thick with emotion. You saved us all. She looked up at him, a watery smile on her face. No, Jack. We did it. Together. And as she turned to her father, saw the pride and love shining in his eyes, Samantha knew that no matter what the future held, they would face it as a family. United and unbreakable.